Welcome to Fred and Amy's Math Shack. We are dividing whole numbers and decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. So yesterday we were looking at multiplying, which was jumps to the left. Can you think about what dividing is today? You got it? It's jumps to the right. So jumping to the right this time. So we've got dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000 is jumping either one jump, two jumps, or three jumps to the right. So let's start off with a number, 4,279. Let's write in blue here. 4,279. And let's divide it by 10. What does it say we need to do? We need to jump all digits, one column to the right. So there we go. We've divided it by 10 by jumping to the right. What's our new number? It's 427.9. And that's dividing by 10. What about a number like this. Let's fill in some gaps. Oh, I wonder if you can say that number. What number is that? It is 427,900. And we write that like this, 427,900. And I want you to divide this by a thousand. So three jumps, look, it says divide by a thousand, all digits of three columns to the right. So a thousand. Okay, so let's jump them. Um, I'm gonna jump these from here, three to the right, just, and then we're gonna deal with the zeros. So imagine the zeros were going with this number. One, two, three. And there we have it. Oh, should have got rid of those. Okay, so we've got 427.9. Here's our answer. 427.9. I hope that makes sense. Let's do a division by a hundred now. I think we've done ten and a thousand. Let's do a division by a hundred. What happens if you've got this number? Let's take this number right from the word go. Let's take this number 427.9 and let's divide it by a hundred. What do we get? Jump twice. One Two, four point two seven nine. Here's your answer. Okay, let's change this number a little bit. Let's get rid of those digits. So let's now have these two digits. Right, what about this number now? And remember, we need to have some kind of place value holder here before the decimal point. So this is 0 0.42. 0 0.42. And I want to divide this by 10. Divide it by 10. So remember, all digits jump one column to the right. So let's take this now to the right. But what do we have to do to make sure we maintain this place value? We have to put zeros in, like so. So this is 0 0.042. What about the number 42? Let's do 42 
divided by a thousand. 42 divided by a thousand, three jumps to the right, one, two, three, and then fill in those gaps. And that is 0 0.042. Okay, hopefully that has explained dividing by 10, 100 and 1,000. I will take these away for you so you've got a clear place value table to work with on the independent exercise you're now going to do. Okay, main classwork. So, similar to yesterday, You've got 13 questions, write out the question in your book and give the answer, or if it's a gap to fill in here, um, underline it so that it's clear which bit is your answer. And then here, draw out the table and fill in the grid. So what it means is you are dividing this number by 10 here to give your answer here of 4.3. But you're not doing 4.3 divided by 100, you're doing 43 multiplied by 100, remember, to get each of these two columns here. Go back to your original number. Okay, and if you want a further challenge, then have a go at this extension. Extension 1 and extension 2. Okay, good luck with that.